Good morning. Our hymn today is entitled, Open My Eyes That I May See. This title brings two pictures to mind. <clears throat> Obviously, we need both physical eyesight to see areas of need in the natural and spiritual eyesight to respond to the quiet promptings of the Holy Spirit. This anthem, both the words and music, was written by Clara Scott in 1895. Clara had the privilege of attending the first Musical Institute of Chicago, conducted by the famous music publisher C. M. Cody. Years later, she was hired as the music teacher of an all-girls school in Iowa. In 1861, she married Henry Clay Scott and began writing songs. This work came to the attention of Horatio P. Palmer, author of Yield Not to Temptation. He encouraged her to write more <clears throat> and later published a number of her songs in his collections. In 1882, Clara held the distinction of being the first woman ever to publish a volume of anthems called the Royal Anthem Book. In 1895, her anthem was published and the following year she published a book called Truth in Song for Lovers of Truth. In 1897, she had started another book, which would have been called Clara's Short Anthems. But that summer, she was visiting in the Mississippi River town of Dubuque, Iowa, when she climbed into a horse-drawn carriage. Something spooked the horse, sending it careening down the street at breakneck speed. Clara was thrown from the runaway buggy and killed. She was 55. So let's all pray for not only our eyes, but also our ears, hearts, and minds to be open for His will in our life. Thank you for letting me share the day this hymn with you and please come back next Thursday for the next hymn and please continue sharing.